There is nothing my claws cannot tear. That was an impressive battle. Until next time. Death can be a beautiful thing. A blazing fire would look good here. Go tell our lord. Yes! Then I will leave it to you. I am depending on you. Oh, Liu Bei! Don't you dare underestimate me! I will leave none of you alive! R Report from the spies! The, the main shoe force has definitely camped! So, was the enemy camp pretty? What? Um, it, it was normal, I suppose. People! We must destroy their formation with a beautiful one of our own. This is the art of battle. Now, you will see. A downhill charge, like falling blossoms. My people, let's dance around them. Zhu Geilian is getting worried. He's trying to speed things up. The last twinkle of a dying flame is beautiful. Shall he die beautifully? We shall smother the flames of war and bring peace. Then we can say that we have perfected the art of war. Today, Zhu dies! Attack! Who are you? Since you saw us, now you must die! You will learn the beauty and grace of Zhang He. There is a certain beauty in escape as well. Beauty never lasts forever. Why Zhang has been slain? By whom? I, Zhang He, have defeated Hua Zhang. What an abundance! I've heard Lord Sun Jian needs some food. The enemies at the summit are dying of thirst. I imagine so. Flowers need water, and these flowers have none. Let us move now, with elegance, grace, and beauty. You've prepared such a grand and magnificent army. Our enemy is an old friend. We must display to him our full respect. We'll show him how noblemen fight. All units, march! You're not too bad. You do look a bit strange, though. Care to join us? Our master just loves the strong and weird types. I shall not expire here, but rather bloom again in pride. Well, it's only natural, isn't it? Those of true beauty are destined to be loved. My lord, forgive me. This one might be a little too strange. This isn't good. I can't afford to lose here. That's not like you at all. Don't forget the mark of a general. Dignity and composure. You mean like this? 
That's the spirit. Now let's paint this battlefield red. Excuse me, General. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just returning a greeting. Yeah! <laughs> Anytime, pal. So, shall we get started then? Supposedly he's a pupil of Zhuge Liang, but to camp there? Absurd. Clearly he has yet to learn any of the aesthetics of strategy. <laughs> I'll show him. I think it's time I paid them a visit. Don't you? Ah, yes. Go forth, Zhang Yi. Yes, my lord. What deplorable ignorance. How poorly they judge the battle. Do you feel the tides changing? Opportunity is calling for us. The stage is set. Raise the curtain and attack. There is no grace to an attack that relies on weaponry. Victory is attained through skill and intellect. Watch, both friend and foe. Witness the art of Zhang He. To our great fortune, Zhuge Liang has finally passed on. Victory is ours. Now, everyone, show your joy. Not with your blade, but with a dance! This new age, I shall make it simply beautiful. It is almost time. We approach the final battle. Concerning Wu and Liu Bei. Their armies are much too small to concern me. We must be wary, however, of their cunning. Oh my! Could those be the words of the man who controls this majestic fleet? Or are you someone else? Pride can lead one astray, Zhang He. The ships don't go to battle. It is the ones who are in command. It all depends on their skill. Even the beauty that you seek requires men to color the scene as if they were background in your painting, is it not? You are right. But of course. Ah! In battle I am a paragon of beauty like no other! Watch and bear witness! My grace and beauty shall be engraved in the memories of all who oppose us! How did it go, Lord Dian Wei? Well, I've never commanded men before, you see, and it's turning out to be kind of a lonely task. They talk behind your back. I can feel them all staring at me. And after all this, we still weren't able to take down Liu Bei and Sun Quan. Alas, capturing Chi Bi would be a glorious ending to this chaos. How sad that it cannot be. Nonetheless, I gaze at your stalwart face, and it makes me feel that all may not be lost forever. Yes, I am taking this vow. I know how I'll spend the rest of my life. I swear that the final victory will belong to us! The time has come. There are things that have to be decided between you and Zhuge Liang. Hmm. I haven't any interest in the likes of Zhuge Liang. Zhuge Liang, 
You don't possess any vision. I can see far beyond the bounds of strategies. Could you ever feel what I feel? An aching need to create a bright and glorious future of your own design? Master Sima Yi! Hmm. I suppose there's no sense in raging at an opponent who has no passion of his own. Let's go. Shu is going to meet its fate today. It's as I thought. I had the feeling this would happen, that you would turn against our lord. Oh? That's interesting. Have you decided what you'll do? I have dedicated my entire life to the service of beauty. And I find beauty, Sima Yi, in the way that you fight. I am prepared to serve you. Now, let us hear about the beautiful plan you have made. Watch as Yuan Shao's life goes up in flames. Do you want to be turned to ash too? No! Or will you be a beacon that lights up this land? I shall burn with righteous fervor for you! General? It is time? Lost in thought, General? I was thinking about how it used to be just me doing and our Lord. Our kingdom has grown. And that's a good thing, you know. But... The people have been drawn to the three of you. It's only natural. And this battle is your chance to prove why. Well, we can't be late. Let's get going! We'll dazzle them! The weather's quite good. Which means that our camp is all too visible. I must admit, this hinders us more than it helps us. So, that's where you are, old man. I will go forth. Take care of it. You stay here! <laughs> Scratch me. I'm off my game. Preparations for our retreat are complete. We must not waste more lives. Guan Yu has moved upon Fan Castle. We have lost Han Zhong. But at least we have drawn him out. As agreed, you must draw up an alliance with Sun Quan. My lord. You... You just threw away Han Zhong? Threw away my cousin's life? Shaho Yuan's death was not planned. But 
If it enables us to kill Guan Yu, then he would have been happy. You! Our Lord wanted to retreat and prepare for Guan Yu's attack. But he has allowed me to launch an offensive. He does not wish General Yuan's death to have been in vain. I can sense the sorrow that I know he is feeling. <laughs> Destroying such a beautiful formation. Our foes are truly savages. Sorry I'm late. I need to do better, I know. So, how's it looking? <laughs> This should be an interesting battle. Your head is mine! Sorry. You take it from here. Oh, father! <laughs> Young master, control yourself. If you give chase now, you're playing right into their hands. But my father... You would sully his beautiful end. I cannot allow you to do such a thing. We have won. It's time to shore up our defenses. <laughs> Father. 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 <laughs> you need to grow stronger still and claim more victories. That is the sacred duty which he has entrusted to you. Even though Master Wen Chao and the others are gone, there is still a big difference between the size of our forces. If we manage to surround them, we can still easily win. Our enemy will think of that and plan for it. We should use the terrain to our advantage and trap them. Everyone. There is no beauty in this talk of surrounding and trapping. The enemy's far from their support. We, on the other hand, have the depot at Wu Chao. If we wait calmly, the enemy's supplies will run out and they'll be unable to fight. And that, my friends, is how a king battles. I understand all of your suggestions. But, in this battle, I will face Cao Cao's troops head on! Why would you do that? In the name of my family, I need to decide this fairly. Because that is the battle against Cao Cao that I desire. I see there are no disagreements. We will win this battle, and forge the foundation of a new world. I expect you all to fight your best! Huh? My lord, Cao Cao's forces have pulled back from the fighting. It looks like they're fleeing to Shu Chong. Hmm. Hmm. He should have known. He could never hope to stand against me. I heard that you and him were friends when you were both younger. So what happened? Why this fight? If he really was indeed my friend, he would have helped me, and he would have supported me as well. But he forgot his place, and chose to challenge me for control instead. And so, I had to punish him for his arrogance. <laughs> she was finally started marching towards us. <laughs> Yes, 
It came much sooner than I thought. It hasn't been that long since the death of Liu Bei. This movement could only be possible with meticulous and precise planning. <coughs> Excuse me! Welcome, Master Sima Yi! After the loss of Jin, Shu was able to revive their alliance with Wu and has managed to subdue the South. It was all preparation for their advance north, and it was directed by one man named Zhuge Liang. Are you sure? <coughs> so then, this army is also from Zhuge Liang. <coughs> Master Sima Yi, why do you appear so happy? I have a chance to face off against a most extraordinary opponent. How can I, who's long polished my skills, not be excited about that prospect? Come, Zhuge Liang. You will eventually discover that you have met your match in Sima Yi of Wei. General, are you seeing this? This army that you entrusted me with, it has managed to evolve even further. Now, beautifully, elegantly, Jung. Look at him, he's training. It's awfully intense. It is this precise motion that makes possible such a splendid attack and defense. Do you see? Uh, yes! <gasps> Me too! <gasps> well then, let me show you the utter beauty that our practice has brought out now! <laughs> 